Hello, I'm uh, John Brewster, a Mossy Pass from Keithley, um, and a medic for the Minis and Juniors at Wharfdale Rugby Club. What I've done is I've compiled, or rather adapted, the FIFA 11 warm-up exercises, which are designed to reduce the likelihood of injuries uh, substantially. You'll notice there are four corner exercises and six exercises that link these corners together. So what you'll have to try and do is, um, I, I, in the videos, you'll see I've repeated the first and second of the four corner exercises. It could be any of those four you want to do and change it as you want to, it doesn't have to be the same. Um, the idea is to um, reduce their injury rate uh, in a much more easy to use fashion than sometimes what's published by FIFA. So hopefully that will be useful. Um, and core exercises are there to strengthen up the middle uh, and yet improve the uh, awareness um, through balance, agility and strength of the shoulders and hips. So you'll see a lot of hinging happening around the shoulders and hips, keeping a stiff spine. That's the basic understanding. Thinking of the two lines in core stability, one down through the spine and one down through the side, between linking the shoulder, hip and knee or heel together. So keeping those two lines as, as straight as you possibly can when you're going through the instructions of these exercises. I hope you find them useful. Thank you. The first uh, corner exercise is the competitive um, Superman position. On all fours, facing the opposition, take opposite arm, opposite leg, off the deck, uh, grasp hands and try and push the opposition off, the, um, off balance, keeping the spine nice and stiff, pushing into the floor and the remaining limbs. Now you run to the next corner where you'll stop in preparation to do the next exercise. This exercise I call the uh, high five plank, where one starts with the front plank position, changing to the side plank position, doing a high five on the way. Stop. In this next part, we run to the next corner doing the hip um, either inside to outside or outside to inside running up and stopping every few paces to perform this hip rotation until you get to the next corner where we'll then do the next exercise. This next corner exercise is called the combat aeroplane. It's where each party will stand on one leg, put the other leg as far back as they can off the floor and then maintain a stiff position whilst trying to push the opposition off the, uh, off the leg and off their balance. Once you fall, you change uh, sides and legs and then try and repeat the same thing. Eventually trying to get as horizontal as you can with the spine, but always trying to maintain that stiff spine and work through the weight-bearing leg. You'll also see as they progress with this exercise, they try and become gradually more horizontal to the floor with the spine. Keep the spine stiff, weight-bearing and pushing through that weight-bearing leg into the floor trying to keep their balance and hinge through the hip where they can as well. On this next leg running between corners, one is now going to perform what you haven't done the previous one. So if you've done the hip out exercise, you're now going to do the hip in exercise or you're going to do the opposite where you're going from the hip out to in or in to out, either way. You're stopping every few meters to perform this um, exercise rotation through the hip until you get to the next corner. Once you get to the next corner, you then uh, assume the uh, front plank position on the hands or on the forearms and trying to get as much rotation uh, range of movement through the shoulders, hinging off the ankles, allowing as, as good range through those areas, uh, keeping a stiff spine and a line between the shoulder, hip and heel um, and the stiffness through that spine as much as possible. On this next leg to the next corner, uh, with a partner, you're running side by side, stopping, and each one takes in turns to go around in a clockwise and then counterclockwise, uh, to, uh, uh, run round the partner to run another few yards, stop and repeat the same until the next corner. Having reached the corner, repeat the first uh, core exercise of the competitive Superman assuming the on all fours, taking two limbs off on the opposite sides and trying to push the opposition over, keeping a stiff horizontal spine. 
Having stopped at the corner to do one of the previous exercises, here the partners are now gently banging into shoulders, balancing, taking another few steps and repeating. This is the final corner exercise where we'll do a retake of the um, plank high five, assuming the front plank position and going from one side planked at doing a high five and repeating. After doing one of the previous corner exercises, here one is doing a forward and backward uh, shuttle run, repeating from a five yard, 10 yard, and then ultimately the halfway position on your training ground in a forward and backward shuttle run. Having warmed the core up and got the coordination and balance system working, we're now going to do some jogging out to about halfway. And on the return, knees nice and high to get the hip flexor muscles working as well. And finally, the last exercise is to work the hip rotator muscles using sidestepping. So um, stopping at the same point, sidestepping off the same leg to avoid little collision to about halfway. And then maybe the same on the return before the next pair will start. This second take gives a bit more coordination to things and a better overview. Thank you.